Hello, it's Monday the 14th of March, and uh, as we turn to chapter 16 of Revelation, we begin as it were all over again. It, it's as though John has set the reset button. We've, we've seen seven seals, we've seen seven uh, trumpets, and now we see seven bowls. And I think they're depicting the same uh, events, the same period of history from the ascension of Jesus right through to the second coming and the final judgment, seeing the same uh, issues uh, of unbelief, but also of, of uh, gospel, uh, as John uh, reflects now using this uh, imagery of seven bowls of judgment. He sees angels proceeding from uh, the temple of God, and each one is carrying a bowl of God's uh, judgment, God's wrath. And the first one in, in verse 2 uh, pours this bowl of wrath uh, on those who have the mark of the beast and worship his image and harmful sores uh, emerge. And these, uh, these remind us, I think, of the ten plagues uh, in Moses' time in Egypt. And the imagery here, I think, is coming from those opening chapters of the book of Exodus. The second angel in verse 3 uh, pours the bowl uh, into the sea and it turns uh, blood red, reminding us of Exodus again. And the third one pours the bowl uh, into the rivers and they too, uh, uh, they too turn red and all the creatures in the river um, die. And then in verses um, 6 and 7 we read, uh, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord God, the Almighty, true and just are your judgments. And you remember uh, those who, the martyrs in chapter 6, before the throne of God in heaven, crying out, uh, How long, O Lord, before you avenge uh, our death? And here it is here. Uh, God coming in judgment upon those who despise him. Well, there's more uh, in Revelation 16, and we'll come back to it again tomorrow. But for now, have a wonderful day.